All right, so I've been making beats for almost four years now. Uh, and the second I started uploading videos to YouTube and going to studio sessions, I've gotten a lot of questions uh, about my workflow and the shortcuts I'll be using when I'll be making beats and shit. So I guess today's the day, man. I lined up 30 shortcuts, which I use most, which I think are the most useful shortcuts in NFL. And that are also the shortcuts, which I wish I knew when I first started making beats, man. So let's get right into it. All right, so for the first shortcut, I got Control or Command L. Uh, on Mac, it's Command L. On Windows, it's Control L. Uh, don't get that twisted up. It's the same thing. Yeah, Control L is very useful. I use it every time I'm making beats. Uh, so let's say right here, you got the drum pattern laid down. See the 808, the hi-hat, and the snare. Of course, you want to mix those and send them from the channel rack to the mixer track right here. And as you can see right now, they're all sent to the mixer track already. But let's say you just started out the beat. They're still laying the drums down. Let's say they weren't sent to a mixer track already. You select them like this. Uh, you hold one pattern. Just drag it down like this, select them all. And when you do Control L, it automatically sends it to uh, the nearest uh, empty mixer track right here and it automatically renames it to the name you, you had set right here. Since I see a lot of people just drag it like this and send it to an empty mixer track, you can just select it like this, do Control L, and send it to the nearest uh, empty mixer track. So that's very easy. All right, so next up is Shift D. What Shift D does is, let's say you have a melody laid down right here. Uh, you copy it over to a different VST or a different sound, and you want to transpose it to short stabs. You hit Shift and D, and it uh, changes it to these short stabs, these short notes right here. It's going to be very useful when laying down kick patterns. Just copy over the 808 pattern right here. Go into the kick, paste it over. Uh, you want it to uh, kind of shorten the notes a little bit. You hit Shift D. That's it. All right, so the next shortcut is basically the opposite of that. So let's say I uh, got all these short notes right here and I want to connect them all. What I would do, select them all and hit Control or Command L. It basically uh, connects all the notes to each other. This is very useful for uh, laying down 808 patterns, for example. You lay down a pattern like this, you want to connect them all, you hit Control or Command L and it uh, connects all the notes automatically. So it lengthens uh, all the notes. This is also very useful when laying down melodies. Let's say you're building chords like this, got a different chord uh, right there. And you want to uh, connect them all. Like I said, Control or Command L. You can also put a note right here so it connects to the nearest note. You can kind of lengthen these notes a little bit, so it's very useful. All right, so next we got to talk about the side buttons on your mouse and how to actually use them. Uh, so for example, on my mouse right here, I got two little side buttons, as you can see. So uh, let's say you lay down an 808 right here and you want to change it. Usually you just uh, go into an 808 right here and drag into the 808 slot. But instead of doing that, you can also hover your cursor on top of an 808 and hit a side button on your mouse. And it automatically sends the 808 to the selected uh, channel rack slot right here. So let's say I don't like the Hyatt that I'm using. I basically select the Hyatt right here in the channel rack, go into my drum kit, uh, find a Hyatt that I like, hover over it and hit the side mouse button. As you can see, it sends it uh, directly to the channel rack. All right, so the next shortcut that I got is uh, very useful for Hyatt's, uh, especially when it comes to Hyatt rolls. So my two favorite ways of laying down Hyatt rolls is uh, one with the brush tool right here. You just uh, go to this magnetic tool, select the step that you like, uh, lay down a, a roll like that. But I also like to use Alt U. So let's say I want to lay down a roll right here. I'll select the note and hit Alt U and it brings up this chopper right here. And as you can see, when I play around with this parameter right here, it changes up the note size, like I said. Uh, but it only does it in two step. That's the only downside to this. Let's say I want to create a third step roll. I'll be doing that with the brush. I'll just take the note out and just lay it down like that. So that's very useful also. So the next one is perfect for kicks. Uh, let's say you got an 808 pattern laid down right here. You want to layer a kick on top of the 808 pattern. But of course, select the 808 pattern, copy it over, paste it into the kick pattern like this. And after that, for example, you would hit shift D to shorten all the notes. And after that, uh, line all the notes up to C. So drag them down like this. But a much easier way of doing this is just to select them all and hit Alt K. Uh, and it brings up this limiter and transpose. And what you can do with this is if you hold uh, command or control and click on the C right here, it transposes all the notes to the C or C sharp or D, for example. And like I said, it's perfect if you want a series of notes to hit on the same note. Just hold command or control, click on the note you want uh, the notes to transpose to. The next shortcut y'all see me using almost every single one of my videos, I always like to render out my melodies. So let's say I got a piano melody right here. What I'm gonna do, if I wanna render it out, is select it in the playlist right there on either render out the master channel or if I have it sent to a mixer channel, I'm gonna click this little record button at the bottom. You'll click it and hit Alt R. It will bring up this uh, rendering mixer track menu. You'll click start and it will render out the melody for you into an audio wave. And then it will drop it into the playlist for you. So instead of having it, uh, the piano melody in a MIDI like this, you'll now have it into an uh, audio wave. Uh, and like that, you can reverse it or flip it in a lot of ways. All right, so of course, everybody knows when you're making a melody or laying down any sort of pattern and you make a mistake, 
you'll just hit command or control z and it will undo it for you but that only undoes the last task that you did so let's say i move this note and this note when i hit um command or control z it only undoes one thing so of course when you want to undo multiple things instead of just one you'll have to hit alt uh command or control and z and it's just holding you're holding three keys and it's not comfortable at all so a setting that i recommend y'all to change so if you go to the settings right here you go to general uh, you gotta highlight this alternate undo mode right here i'm gonna turn it on right here what that does as you can see if i uh, move multiple notes i could just keep on hitting command or control z and it will keep on undoing it without having to hold alt as well All right, so the next shortcut is called score flipper uh, what that does you can basically reverse melodies or whatever pattern you got laid down so what you want to do is select it and hit alt y what that does is you can uh, flip it horizontally flip it vertically as you can see it just reverses the whole melody especially if you're planning on reversing your whole melody instead of uh, rendering it out and after that chopping it up and reversing it and all that bullshit. it can sound very cool and unique if you uh, like i said hit alt y and reverse the melody like this so now the the chords are flipped if you render it out like this and reverse it the chords are in the original state as they were before so that could sound very unique and very cool shortcut number 10 is very useful for people who like to play in their melodies on a midi keyboard or in this quantization so let's say as you can see this chord is not really on the grid and you want it to be on the grid you can hit shift and q and it will send it directly to the nearest grid for a little more advanced menu instead of hitting shift q you can hit alt q and I'll bring up this quantizer and you can play around with the start time like this uh, duration and sensitivity uh, it's just a little more advanced than uh, shift Q next shortcut is very useful when you're uh, done with your beat and you want to export it I see a lot of people just select the beat go to file uh, and go to export right here and export it uh, however they want to but a way faster way to export it is to hit shift command or control and R that will bring up this um, export menu and it will um, put the file format in mp3 but if you don't want to render it out into mp3 but in wave instead you can hit uh, command or control and hit r and it will put the file format in wave automatically so the next shortcut makes it very easy to change existing patterns or create new patterns for example all these drums right here of course i split them by channel already so let's say i want to regroup them i just hit command or control g and it will uh, merge them all into a new group a new pattern right here and this is perfect because it creates a new pattern for you and it keeps all the uh the other patterns uh, intact and untouched so the next shortcut really enhances your whole workflow really makes you run through a fell way smoother and it's by scrolling vertically and horizontally so let's say i'm in a playlist right here and i hold alt i can scroll vertically and make all these patterns bigger and if i want to do the opposite I scroll horizontally instead of holding alt or option i can hold command or uh, control and it will scroll um, horizontally, like I said, to so just point where you want to uh, zoom in a little bit. So for example, right here, hold control or command and just scroll like that. For the next one, we're going to stay in the piano roll. Uh, and this one got to do with velocities. So let's say you want to change up the velocities of a single note. What you can do is uh, select one note like this and just change the velocity. But a much easier way of doing this is if you select all the notes uh, of the velocities that you want to change select them like this and you hold alt or option and scroll up or down you can um bring all of the velocities up or down you can also hover your cursor on top of the note that you want to change hold alt and just drag up or down uh, and actually previews the the sound and the velocity next one is very useful for all the people that haven't got a delete button on their keyboard uh so let's say i want to take out this a i would just hit the delete button on my keyboard but for example me i don't got no delete button on my keyboard and the shortcut that i use for that is command or control x and it will just take out the note cut out the note that you have selected so for example you can take out this whole melody command and control x we'll just take it out uh, i can use this with patterns command and control x take that out and this is way easier instead of right clicking and dragging like this you can just uh, take out everything at once all right so the next shortcut is called strumizer what this does is let's say you've got a straight chord like this it's not strummed at all you hit alt or option s it brings up the strumizer with this time knob or you can kind of strum the chords a little bit you can also mess around with the velocity right here it will change the velocity on the notes but uh, in my opinion this sounds very robotic as you can see like all the notes got the same gap in between the same distance but i don't really like to use the strumizer for that reason uh, so let's say i want to humanize these chords a little bit instead of hitting alt s i just uh, hold alt and like that you can drag the notes um very smoothly without sticking them to the grid but if you want your chords to sound robotic you can just hit all s and uh, play around with the strum eyes a little bit the next one is also very useful in the piano roll if you want to move this note up or down you can just hold it drag it up or down or it's way easier to just select it like this 
hold shift and uh, use your arrow keys to move them up one note. Let's say you want to move them up a whole octave instead of one note. Instead of holding shift, you'll hold command or control and that moves them up a, a whole octave instead of just one note. And you can also do this with the entire melody. So let's say you want to change the emotion of the melody. You just select them all, hit shift, just pitch them up one note. Or if you want to move it up a whole octave, uh, you hit control or command and it would just move it up an entire octave. And for the people who don't know how to select things, uh, you can just hit command or control A and it will select the entire pattern that you got in front of you right here. And if you want to select a specific area of your melody or pattern, you can hold command or control and instead of hitting A, you can just uh, drag like this and uh, click or drag on the notes you want to select. And if you want to deselect the notes, you can hit command or control D and it will deselect it for you. And this also works in the playlist. So hit command or control, you can just select it like this or hit control or command A and select the uh, entire playlist. Alright, so shortcut 19 is a very easy way to copy over your patterns. Let's say you want to copy over this uh, pattern in the playlist. You can hit shift and hold and copy it over like this. Or uh, you can click, click on another spot and drag it like that. But the way that I like to do is to hold command or control and hit command or control B like this and it copies it over automatically. Of course, you can also use this in the piano roll. Let's say I want to copy this entire melody over. I just select it all and hit uh, command or control B and it will copy it over directly after the melody that you uh, selected. I'm gonna do y'all a favor with the next one, man. Y'all make sure y'all save y'all beats when you're actually making beats, not just save it after or save it once when you're making a beat. Y'all make sure to hit Command or Control S and it will just save the beat automatically really quick. After you're done laying down one pattern or one melody, uh, just hit Command or Control S real quick and save yourself a lot of trouble in the future. Shortcut 21 is a little more advanced method of uh, rendering out your melodies into audio clips. Instead of doing it through the mixer track where you hit this button right here, you can also highlight it in the playlist and hit Alt uh, with Command or Control and hit C uh, and it will bring up this uh, consolidation uh, panel right here. And this works the same way. Just click Start, change up the settings if you want to and it will render it out into audio clip and uh, drop it directly into the playlist like that. The next one is also very useful in the playlist. Let's say I uh, want to select all the 808 patterns instead of uh, selecting them like this. You can just click on one pattern. So for example, the 808, I just click it and hit shift C and it will select all the 808s for me. So let's say I want to do the same with the piano right here. Just click on the piano once, hit shift C and it will uh, select all the pianos, uh, the piano patterns in the, in the playlist. Shortcut 23 is perfect for the piano roll right here. Let's say I want to randomize these velocities a little bit instead of uh, changing every single individual uh, velocity like this. You can just highlight all the notes that you want to randomize the velocities of and hit Alt R. You can randomize the velocities with this uh, velocity button right here. It's parameter. Uh, same with the panning, release, and also got some more uh, mod views right here. And just by polar mode, kind of switches the way it randomizes. As you can see, if I click it, uh, it's way more random. I actually like the way it randomizes more when this uh, bipolar mode is turned on. The next one is perfect if you want to change the position of VSTs or plugins in the channel rack or in the mixer. In the channel rack, for example, you can just select the VST or the sound that you want to move up or down. You just select it like this. Let's say, for example, Arcade. Hold Alt and play around with the arrow keys so up and down. It can actually move it up or down in the channel rack. For the mixer, it's pretty much the same. Let's say you want to move Analog Lab uh, to slot 4. You hit Alt and play around with the arrow keys left and right. You can just move it left and right without uh, it changing the, the effects and shit. talking about the effects if you want to change the position of an effect move it up or down or you can just hover over it with your cursor and scroll if you scroll down it moves down if you scroll up it moves uh, up in the slots and i only found this out recently it's a very easy way to uh, move your effects up and down in the uh, effects chain shortcut 26 is a very easy way to browse to the toolbar right here instead of clicking it like this you can just hold right click and scroll and it will automatically scroll through the through the toolbar. So let's say I want to move to the burst tool. I'll just right click, scroll down, and it'll move to the next uh, slot in the toolbar. Next one is about automation right here. As you can see, I got some automation clips uh, in this beat. And how a lot of people would uh, create this automation clip is they would go to the mixer track right here and right click this uh, parameter of the uh, the plugin that you want to automate. Right click it. Create on uh, create automation clip uh, and that works of course but a little faster way of doing it is just right click it right here and hit a uh, it's just a little faster just right click an a just very convenient 
Truck at 28. Let's say I want to preview what sound in my beat without uh, having to solo it like this. I could just hold Alt or Option and right click on the part of the pattern that I want to uh, solo. So I would just hold Alt and could just click on the part that you want to hear. Very easy. The next shortcut, I know a lot of people, especially if you're starting out uh, making beats, a lot of people struggle with this and they don't know how to get rid of it. For example, let's say I'm laying down an 808 pattern right here and on accident, I drag in this 808 and you get this uh, annoying waveform. It's a very easy way to get rid of it. You just do Alt or Option N and it just uh, takes it out. And I remember when I was first starting out making beats, bro, I did not know how to get rid of that shit, bro. Like I would drag in shit all the time and I would just leave it there. Uh, just Alt N and it uh, gets rid of it. Shortcut number 30 is also in the piano roll. It's a very easy way to change your velocities. Let's say I want to make all these velocities go up gradually uh, instead of clicking like this and kind of like manually having it go up in the straight line. A much easier way of doing it is if you hold right click and just drag up or down. It will stay in a straight line, a straight diagonal line, uh, and it will always stay straight. You can also put all the velocities on the default level. If you hold Alt and left click like this, it will uh, put it all back to the, uh, to the original level. All right, so these are my 30 favorite shortcuts, which I use almost every time when I'm making beats and shit. So yeah, I hope y'all learned something from the video, man. And I got way more tips and tricks and shortcuts I'll be using while making beats. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below what y'all trying to see on the channel or if y'all want to see a part two in this series. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. So don't forget to subscribe and like all that shit. Uh, follow me on Instagram, check out my drum kits. All uh, my drum kits are linked down, the first link down in the description. Yeah, that's all I have for today's video, man. So I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. I'm out, man.